in this video, I will show you how to create this cool face tracking effect using DaVinci. So let's get started. To create this effect, I have already imported a stock video into DaVinci. I have also given the link of this video in the description. If you want, you can download it from there. So right now I'm on the edit page of DaVinci and I will start by dragging this video on the timeline. Now with this video selected, I will go to the fusion page. Here I will click on the media in node and then I will press shift and space key together to open this tools menu. If you are on a Mac, you have to press shift and space key to open this menu. If you are on a Windows, you have to press control and space key together to open up this menu. In the tools menu, I will search for a tool called tracker. I have three options here. I will use this third one, which is simply called tracker. With this selected, I will click on add. This will insert a tracker node on my timeline. Now with this tracker node selected, I will make sure that my playhead is at the beginning of the video. Then I will simply align this tracker on the face of the subject. I can move this tracker by dragging the upper left corner. Once I have aligned this on the face of the subject, I will click on the inspector tab here. And then here I will go to the adaptive mode and I will choose best match. Then I will click on this button here to start the tracking. Once the tracking is done, I will get a notification which says render completed. I will click on OK. Then I will again go to the inspector menu. I will go to the operation tab. Here in the operation drop down, I will choose match move. And in the merge drop down, I will choose BG only. So the face tracking has been done. Now let's get back to the edit page. Here I will firstly click on the inspector tab to open the tools. Now let's preview our video. So as you can see, a perfect face tracking has been done by DaVinci, but a small issue is there. Because of the face tracking, this black spaces have arrived on the sides of the video, which we want to get rid of. To do this, I will move my player through the video and wherever I encounter this black spaces, I will either increase the value of zoom or I might change the value of position to make my video cover this black spaces. I will do this throughout the video. I will move frame by frame through the video and wherever I see the spaces, I will change the value of zoom or I can change the value of position to get rid of these spaces. Let me speed up this process to save your time. So once this is done, our final video will be ready. Let's preview how this looks. So that's it for this video. If you find it useful, do hit the like and subscribe button for more such videos. Thank you so much.